FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 45, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's up 9. Now, it's going to be all about what happens in the next five minutes, folks. Why? Because you got Microsoft coming out with numbers. Microsoft will move the S&P 500 as well as the NASDAQ 100, and the futures are open for another 15 minutes. And they both, folks, the, the S&Ps are at 3,003. That has been a congestion zone, huge amount of resistance right at that level. Uh, NASDAQ is uh, basically weaker, definitely weaker. Uh, bottom line is that we are right where we had the downdraft uh, out here yesterday coming into the close, and it still doesn't have enough juice uh, at this particular point, but we'll see how that shakes out in the next uh, about three and a half minutes because we will have Microsoft uh, coming out. My take is that Microsoft is going to uh, get lower uh, even though it has been the strongest equity out there. Why? Because what we have seen is that last Thursday, you had selling on the way down. Yesterday, you had selling on the way down. That is basically putting Microsoft inside a small consolidation at the top. And I'm not talking about big numbers, but I am talking about 4 or $5 uh, off where it is right now. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. We had the uh, gold contract. Gold contract was up $7.10. That was trading out at one at $14.94. We're going to need more volume on gold. Uh, bottom line is that it did reject lower price last few days. Today, you got $7 up. Not enough juice, though. Not enough uh, volume inside it to get into higher price. Notes and bonds are the same way. So notes with notes and bonds had done, that had been rejecting lower price for the last five or six days. Today, you go higher. The volume died in the vine. That's saying that that can come back, test the lows of yesterday once again. Dollar, dollar, different animal. Dollar has broken its uptrend. Dollar down 64 ticks. You're trading 97, 462. But what that's saying inside the, the dollar is that that's saying that that dollar bottom line wants to get down on a short-term basis to the 95 level. On a long-term basis, it's saying it wants to get down to the 85 level. So you're talking about big numbers there. Microsoft just came out. Microsoft closed at 137.24. That is trading right now at uh, 138.61. And that's not going to be enough juice, by the way. Uh, what, what, what would happen with Microsoft is this. Uh, good numbers, okay, but the bottom line is if you have something that comes out like that, you have to see a big expansion on the way up. Why? Because it's been up so, such a period of time. When you don't get a big expansion on the way up, guess what? They're going to sell that baby down. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. We look forward to speaking to you right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock.